All right, let's move into the second day of the trial. February 10, 9.39 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Good morning! Oh, are you by yourself? Are you by yourself? Ah, morning, Pearls. Ah, uh, you know, Pearls, I think you murdered your aunt. <laughs> you, you know, you know Elise Donham? Mr. Nick, please tell me what's going to happen to Mystic Maya! I don't know, where is Mystic Maya? I'm sorry, we don't know yet. The investigation is still going on, so I wasn't allowed into the inner temple. Oh, I see. So is Sister Iris still trying to remove those trick locks in the training hall? I mean, she says she is, but maybe she's gonna murder Maya, you know what I mean? No, she's the defendant in this case, so she can't be at the inner temple. She's required to be here in court. Um, then how come she's not here in the defendant's lobby? I have to admit, it's kind of strange. If you're looking for Iris, she's in the prosecutor's lobby. Edgeworth. What's Iris doing over there? She's going over today's testimony with the prosecutor as we speak. <laughs> Today's testimony? You heard me. Iris is going to be testifying as a witness for the prosecution. Wait, what? The prosecutor is squeezing her for a confession. Oh, so I heard. Francisca von Karma, what are you up to? I know what you're thinking, but Francisca isn't going to be the prosecutor today. What? Then who is? Who else would it be but Godot? Godot! Francisca is engaged in some important work at the sacred cavern. Is she trying to whip the locks open? Like, just whip them? <laughs> the sacred cavern? You don't mean that she's... Exactly. She has been out there all night trying to remove those trick locks. <laughs> Does she know how to do it? <laughs> With the head nun's assistance, naturally. Okay. <laughs> You know what? She deserves it. <laughs> Francisca deserves those locks. <laughs> we estimate that the last of the locks should be taken care of in about three hours. I'm gonna have to be here for three hours. I hope everything continues to go smoothly as we receive some good news soon. Yeah, thanks Edgeworth. Prosecutor Godot intends to nail this case shut today. Ew. Be prepared to fight like there's no tomorrow! You don't have to tell me that. Touché! <laughs> I can already see it in your eyes. You're not the same fever-ridden frantic maniac you were yesterday. <laughs> I feel like I'm still a bit of a maniac. It's strange. On the way here, I decided that today would be the end of all this. Almost immediately after I made the decision, I, must, I felt myself getting stronger. Interesting. Maybe you've passed your code onto someone else, literally. And with that, I leave the rest in your capable hands, partner. Wait, are you coming in? <laughs> Thanks. I still don't have the answers for most of the riddles plaguing this case. The circumstances around the murder of Miss Elise Donham. No, I mean Miss Misty Fay. The impossible flight Larry claims to have seen. <laughs> this is so funny, this picture. <laughs> and what that woman is really after. Did she really kill her own sister? Did Morgan really kill Misty? I will solve them all and bring this whole tragedy to an end. You know, everybody dies in a tragedy. Like in terms of like Greek, Greek plays. In a tragedy, literally everybody dies. <laughs> so, if this is a classical tragedy, then Phoenix will die. February 10, 10 a.m. District Court courtroom number seven. Oh, 
court is now in session for the trial of Iris of Hazakura Temple. Hmm. Godo. Maybe I should have a vest, like him. Should I wear a vest? <laughs> uh, but without the tie. Um, Your Honor? Wh what are you? <laughs> Who? Me? Well, my little brother came to visit me in my chambers earlier this morning. All of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, he developed a scorching fever and fainted. Wow. Therefore, I'll be standing in for him. <laughs> the, the Canadian? The Canadian caught my fever? I see, your honor. So they're brothers! That explains a lot! <laughs> Wait, if your brother's Canadian, why aren't you Canadian? My poor brother, he looked a bit pale, not to mention sad that he couldn't be here. It is impossible to predict what the future has in store for any of us. This is precisely why people feel the need to judge the past. And we of the court have been charged with the solemn duty of passing such judgment. What does that mean? Well said, Mr. Godot. I understood exactly what you said, at least up until the end anyway. <laughs> now then, Mr. Godot, please proceed with your opening statement. Humans are fragile, fickle beings. Our hearts change with the shifting of the tides. So like, what, every, every 12 hours or so? There's only one thing that remains a constant in this crazy world. The bitter darkness that lies at the bottom of this mug. <laughs> so then you mean... Um, forget it. What do you mean? During yesterday's trial, the accused refused to admit her role in the crime. But today she has had a change of heart. Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple has a confession to make. Confession! The defendant! Iris, why didn't she discuss this with me first? Very well. This court will now hear the defendant's confession! Upon meeting a beautiful lady, always ask for her name and profession. That's one of my rules. <laughs> do, you on do you only meet beautiful ladies on the witness stand? Like, are, are the witnesses the only beautiful ladies you have ever met? Um, my name is Iris. I am but a simple nun undergoing training at Hazakura Temple. Witness! Is there something that you want to confess to? Yes. But first, I want to apologize to Mr. Wright. I can't continue lying to everyone ev anymore. It's alright. What is it? <laughs> She's gonna tell us that... Iris and uh, the other one, the other twin, swap places. <laughs> Actually, Iris is the one who's dead. Mr. Wright, I have to admit that I did play a part in this terrible incident. Yeah, I knew that. Are you actually confessing? Are you saying that you're the one who murdered Miss Elise Donham? No, I'm not, Your Honor, please. But I dealt with the cover up after the murder took place. After her spirit left, I took the lifeless shell of Mystic Elise and carried it to the Hazakura Temple Courtyard where I desecrated it. What? <laughs> order in the court! Order! Witness! Are you... Are you saying you were an accomplice to the murder? Yes, that is correct. What? Three minutes in court and I'm already covered in the cold sweat. Ha! Everyone on the planet is an accomplice to something. It just happens to be that in this case, it is to murder. Isn't that right, Mr. Trite? That got though. So this is the confession they were conferring about. It pains me to say this. 
But it looks like Iris's testimony was all a lie! Iris's testimony crumpled up and shoved into her pocket! Now then, little lady, if you don't mind, I've got a f question for you. Whose crime were you trying to cover up by your actions? Iris was covering for someone. Now I'm definitely up the creek without a paddle, or a life jacket. I've been at Hazukura Temple ever since I was a little girl. Hazukura Temple is run by one of the branch families of the Kurain tradition. One of our missions is to protect the main family. I'm sorry, but main family? Yes, and that is why I would dirty myself, if need be, to protect her. The daughter of the master of the Kurain channeling technique. Mystic Maya Fey! Huh. Wait. If you would dirty yourself to protect her, why are you throwing her under the bus now? <laughs> Wake up and smell the coffee, trite! She's naming... Fire! Order in the court! Not only did you witness the murder, you know the name of the murderer! I'm terribly sorry, but it's true! I saw her commit the crime with my very own eyes. And then I cleaned up the area to try to protect her. Objection! That's ridiculous! Maya could never do- The defense will refrain from commenting until the appropriate time. Now witness, let's hear your testimony. What exactly happened on the night of the crime? Yes, your honor. I thought I was prepared for the unexpected. But I never imagined the case would wind up going in this direction. Hold on. So, Pearl says that she couldn't channel... I keep forgetting her name. She couldn't channel uh, the evil twin. And she kept trying and she kept failing to channel the evil twin. So not only was the evil twin channeled, the evil twin twin continues to be channeled because Pearl continues to not be able to channel her. So this is this is still the evil twin. I went to the inner temple that night and I saw it all happen in the garden. I saw Mystic Elise strike Mystic Maya with her staff. While Mystic Maya was still stumbling, Mystic Elise moved in to deliver a fatal strike. Mystic Maya tried desperately to defend herself and stole the weapon. It was only in self-defense. You can't blame her for it. So it was in self-defense. Yes, Mystic Elise was the one who attacked first. Mm. That's why I tried my best to protect Mystic Maya. You moved the victim's body to the temple so that Maya wouldn't be suspected. Isn't that right? Not bad. You've got the instincts of a true criminal. Something's not quite right. I'm sure it was established yesterday that Iris never went to the inner temple that night and that the person who did go was... that woman. Iris even admitted it. Now then, Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. Is the summoning thing going to stand in court? Does, like, does, does this... Is this, like, this is a fictional world. In this fictional world, is channeling an established fact? <laughs> like, is the judge gonna believe in channeling? The real murderer! I went to the inner temple that night and I saw it all happen in the garden. Sister Iris! Your testimony has changed quite a bit since yesterday. You stated yesterday that on the night of the murder, you didn't go to the inner temple. Objection. Did she now? Too bad for you. What she said yesterday doesn't mean much today. By the way, where were you when she claimed that she didn't go? I... Uh, it was in the inner temple's training hall. A private conversation between the two of you does not constitute testimony. That would be properly described as hearsay. What did you have to say, witness? I just couldn't tell him the truth at that time. Mystic Maya, she's your girlfriend, isn't she? 
I didn't want to be the one to break it to you that I saw her commit murder. There. We all understand how difficult this is for you. Now then, let's continue with the testimony. What did you witness in the temple garden? Well, Your Honor, I saw Mystic Elise strike Mystic Maya with her staff! You're saying that the victim attacked Maya, I mean Miss Faye? Yes, it was a truly frightening scene. Mystic Maya was struck hard on the head and looked like she was going to collapse. What were you doing at the time? Um... Why didn't you stop them from fighting? I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I was... I was frightened. I couldn't move. I couldn't even speak. I was in such shock. Mmm, that's perfectly understandable, my dear. This doesn't sound right. I don't believe this testimony for a minute! What happened after that? While Mystic Maya was still stumbling, Mystic Elise moved in to deliver a fatal strike. She moved in to deliver a fatal strike? Yes, I'm sure of it. She threw down her staff and reached into her robe for a weapon. Wait a minute! What was this weapon? It was... some kind of dagger. A dagger, huh? And Elise Donum tried to stab her with this weapon? To kill Miss Faye? Yes, exactly. Ha! You look like I did after I mistakenly took a swig of Worcester sauce. <laughs> Why would you... You didn't smell the Worcester before you, you, you gulped it down? <laughs> you, you didn't... <laughs> You couldn't smell it? <laughs> Do you have a problem with the testimony we're hearing from your client, lawyer boy? Mm, Do I have a problem with Iris's testimony? Yeah. Your Honor, I have a small problem with the witness's testimony. You do? But this witness is your own client. Yes, well, nevertheless, that's fine. Witness, let's add your last statement to the testimony. Yes, sir. Hey, just a moment. It's my job to say that. Listen, Gramps, I won't say it again. Final judgment will be rendered by me! <laughs> okay, now continue. She threw her staff away and pulled a dagger from inside her robe. She threw her staff away. Mystic Elise was trying to kill Mystic Maya. I think that's why she wanted a more lethal weapon. It's true. It's not easy to inflict a deadly blow with a staff. Sister Iris, let me make sure I've got this straight. The victim herself chose to throw away her staff. Yes, that's what I saw. Is there anything odd about that, Mr. Wright? Yeah, it's odd, alright. Mystic Elise attacked Mystic Maya with the dagger, I'm sure of this. Mystic Maya tried desperately to defend herself and stole the weapon! And then? Mystic Maya, she turned things around and then she used the weapon she had taken and lunged forward for a strike. Witness! Are you absolutely certain? Yes, but believe me, she had no choice. If Mystic Maya hadn't done something, Maya Faye's name would have been written on this autopsy report instead. Mmm, yes, I see. This is bad. I still can't put the pieces together unless I find a contradiction in her testimony. Maya's going to get blamed for this. I... I only have this to say. It was only in self-defense. You can't blame me for it. So you're saying Maya Faye was the one who stabbed Miss Elise Donham? Sister Iris, is that really what you saw? Yes. Objection. Sister Strike. Trite, I mean. If your mug is filled with black and bitter suspicions, the only way to get rid of them is to drink them down quick. Like this! 
Um, I know that's supposed to be a metaphor, but I don't get it. <laughs> Nobody gets it. There's only one thing you need to get, Trite. It's called evidence. Now hurry up, before my next cup gets cold. What does that mean? Is Godot waiting for me to point out the contradictions? Yeah, he is. He's here to... to get... what's her name? Anyway, he's here to avenge Mia. I'd like to avoid the whole spirit channeling thing if I can. Not only would it be inadmissible as evidence, but I think it might actually hurt our standing with the judge. First I need to pick your testimony apart and expose the unnatural sounding parts. I don't know why Iris would tell a story like this, but there are two things I noticed that just don't add up. Oh, there's two things? I only saw one. So Maya... I think Maya channeled... Uh, what's her name? I think Maya channeled Dahlia Hawthorne. And then Dahlia Hawthorne, using Maya's body, tried to kill Elise. I mean, she did kill Elise. Anyway. Uh, threw away her staff. Excuse me. Sister Iris, there's something strange about your version of events. Huh. Miss Donum throwing her staff away makes no sense at all to me. But all you can do with the staff is hit someone. Naturally, you wouldn't know this, Sister Iris, but... The victim's staff had a special feature about it. As you can see, it's a sword! Haha! <laughs> If Elise Donum really had wanted to kill Maya Fey, she wouldn't have needed to use a separate dagger. Not when she already had a beautiful blade in her hands already. Well, Sister Iris, what do you have to say? Uh, I... That was an impressive bit of investigating, Trite. I never would have thought there was a sword hidden in that staff. But even so, how should I put this? A long sword is unwieldy and thus quite ineffective in close quarters combat. Maybe that's why she chose a dagger over her blade. Where's the dagger then? Jesus Christ. Um, well... Anyway, the type of weapon she chose to use isn't what's important. The important thing is that she tried to kill Maya Fey. As long as there's nothing strange about that, there's no problem with her testimony. But there is something strange about this whole testimony. Well, Mr. Wright, the prosecution has a point. Very well, Your Honor. The defense will now present evidence to back its argument. Mr. Wright, I have here another piece of evidence that shows that this testimony can't be trusted. Hold on. Because Miss Elise Donham would never attempt to take the life of Maya Fey. Uh, this? Or do I present this? Let me present this. Mm, well, Mr. Godot? Okay, it's not that one. <laughs> Look, that is evidence that shows Elise is actually Misty. But I guess this also works. At least Donum would never have attacked Maya Fey. How can you be so sure? Because the victim's real name was not Elise Donum. Her real name was Misty Fey. Fey! Ah! No! Not Mystic Misty Fey. <laughs> yeah, Iris. Iris, you didn't know? You didn't know? <laughs> you didn't know that your mother used you and your sister and Pearl and Maya to kill Misty. Who is this Misty Fey? Is she related to? Misty Fey is the master of the Curane channeling technique. She is also the mother of Maya Fey. Are you serious? Is it really true, Mr. Wright? Was Elise Donum actually the great mystic Misty? 
There's no doubt about it. It looks like Iris had no idea. I can hardly believe it. The idea that she would try to kill her only daughter, one she hadn't seen in 17 years. Perhaps the prosecution can offer some explanation for why she would do such a thing. Order in the court! Upon first hearing the witness's testimony, it seemed natural enough. However, in light of some facts that have just been presented, one, that the victim supposedly threw away a sword during a fight. And two, that the two people battling to the death were mother and daughter, despite the facts being unbelievable when taken on their own. When taken together, the entire story seems difficult to believe. Listen, there's nothing in this world that is impossible. Except for one little thing. Yes, what is this one little impossible thing? Ha! You still don't get it. You think maybe my beans are under-roasted, but you have no idea, Gramps. Um, could you get to your point? <laughs> yeah, no, your, your beans, no one wants to, don't, no one wants to know about your beans. I heard this witness's confession this morning. Just as I had taken the first sip of my eighth cup of morning coffee. <laughs> Jesus. You're going to ruin your health, my friend. <laughs> yeah, caffeine poisoning. Anyway, after hearing this woman's confession, I had a detective who loves to investigate sent to the scene of the crime. And... He discovered this little beauty. Is that the dagger the witness testified to seeing? Obviously, your honor. But do you not notice something else? Not that you mention it. If you look closely, there appears to be blood on it. Where did you find that? I didn't see that when I investigated the crime scene. Did you investigate the pine tree at the crime scene? Huh? The pine tree? This dagger was stuck in the backside of the pine tree. When the last blow was struck, ending the violent battle between the two women. This little baby was thrown in the direction of the back of the pine tree. How? The back of the pine tree? from the other side? Which means, the blood on the dagger belongs to the victim, correct? Have you analyzed it? Ha! Huh. Were you even listening, old man? I first heard this confession this morning, just as I had taken this... just as I had taken the first sip of my 13th cup of morning coffee. Didn't you say it was your 8th just a few minutes ago? <laughs> no, he had 5 cups in a few minutes. I didn't have enough time to get the blood analyzed on such a short notice. In any case, the court will accept the dagger as evidence. Furthermore, I ordered that a blood test be performed on it immediately. This is my sweetheart. Make sure you treat her right. 